Oh, hey, what's going on? Reality is set in. We have a train to catch. I think it leaves at 6.30. So it's now 5 o'clock. I feel awful between too much beer and too much disgusting lamb. And I keep burping. The lamb. So this is the scenery of Hokkaido. I saw two horses. I haven't seen any cows or anything, even though this place is pretty famous for it. Oh good. It's now just trees. So at least it's not a tunnel. Um, if these trees tend to disappear, and I hope they kind of might, um, you can kind of see big giant mountains in the background. Well, we've made it to Shin Aomori, um, and we didn't have to um, sort of stress about any trains, so that's been really nice. Um, we're now just about to catch the Hayabusa, um, basically the bullet train back to Tokyo, which is cool. This has been a very relaxing trip. If you're a train otaku or geek like me, uh, you'll really enjoy the Yurikimome, which is basically a driverless train and it goes to the island of a diver. If you're a normal person like Catherine, you'll sit there just and just be. It's a matter of five. 75 bucks a night, so $15 more than that sort of dingy hotel hostel we were at the first night. Let's see what Catherine thinks. Okay. Let's see what the bathroom. Okay. So Sorry. that's the uh, hotel room, or the bathroom, it's a space. <laughs> we have a, a family room with uh, four single mattresses and this weird sort of Japanese guitar thing. Hi. Um, so we're here at Diver City in Odaiba. This is Mobile Suit Gundam. I don't know if you can see it behind me. Thank you camera person Catherine. So basically this is a life-size uh, replica of the uh, robots that are in the TV show, which is pretty cool. 